I thank you and I give you honor and I give you praise. So Lord, I pray, I thank you for the father of this house, the leadership of this household, Lord, as he teaches us, God, of things that we need to know. And God, I thank you for each and every person that is in this household that prays for me and my family. And I thank you, God, and I give you honor and I give you praise this morning in Jesus' name. your heads, O ye gates, and be up, ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Yeah. Who is this Who King is of glory? Hallelujah. The Lord strong and mighty, yeah. the Lord mighty in battle. Yeah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, yeah. you everlasting doors, yeah. and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. I know, praise be to God. I love him because he first loved me. And he gave his life for me. That's why I'm free and
lies in his hands and his bus broke down. But God shielded him and protected him and protected the young people that were on the bus and that he's, he's sitting there safely waiting for them to fix the bus. I thank you, Lord, for what you have done for my family. And I pray for me as I pray for you in Jesus' name.
Your debt has been paid in full. Hallelujah. He paid the debt when he gave his life. He paid the debt yes. for your freedom. You're no longer a slave to sin. Amen. You're a slave because you want to be a slave. Amen. Hello in here. Amen. You like being a slave to sin. Mm. You like enjoying the pleasures of sin. The Bible says just for a season. That's right. Good God Almighty, that means they're going to end. Amen. Oh, you know, they got Amen. season, praise God. This is, but we're still in the winter now, but we're about to hit the spring. I, I think can't that's what's coming wait. up next. Yes, can't oh, wait. The springtime's going to come. Somebody said the season that you're in going to change. Yeah, the season. Good God Almighty. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Let them know out there. The season you're in going to change. That's right. Glory be to Are you ready for the change? Yes. Praise be to God. Yes. Because it's going to change. Yes, it is. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The season is going to change. Ah, uh, God. As the word of God say, uh -huh, over there in Genesis 8. Yes. Mm-hmm. Praise be to God. Genesis 8. 22. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Amen. Someone go over to Malachi. Three and seven. Ah, let me hear Genesis eight twenty two. Hallelujah! I won't be here very long, but shortly. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. I said, praise be to God. Hallelujah! Thank Something you. is about to come in the earth. Yes, it is. You better get in the house of God. Praise be to God. Ah, God. I don't know what it is, but somewhere back in my spirit, I'm feeling something about to happen. Praise be to God. It's just not ordinary. Praise be to God. All right. Genesis 8, 22. Let me hear it. Glory to God. 
slow and easy for me because I want to talk a little bit while you read it. Uh huh. While the earth remained. Uh huh. While the earth is still here. Seed time. The seed time. And harvest. And you got to get a harvest. Hold right now. Seed time. And harvest. So that means thank God for the farmer. Because so many things that the farmer grows that we live off of. Isn't that right? Amen. Those nice sugar makers and collard greens and my God and sweet potatoes and, and cucumbers and I could go on and on. Let us praise be to God. The farmer grows all that stuff. And when you people out there that like pokey beans, <laughs> soy beans, praise be to God. You'd be surprised to know how much the earth yields that you eat. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. Mm -hmm. For the Lord says, seed time and harvest. Read, daughter. And cold. Cold. And heat. And heat. Hold right there. That sounds like a season, don't it? Didn't we just tell them your season is about to change? Yes. Cold. And heat. Yes. Uh -huh. The spring is about to come. Amen. Uh -huh. You can drop that overcoat. Thank you, Praise Jesus. be to God and put on a sweater and something light. Yes. Because the season is going to change. Amen. Hmm? Your life will never be the same. That's right. Your life's about to change. Praise be to God. Amen. Because the season is going to change. Even the time is going to change. Yes, it is. Ain't that right? Amen. Praise God. Not just the season, but the time is going to change. Yes. Aren't you glad this morning that he don't change? That's right. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. He remains the same. People do change up on you. Say, I'm with you all the way. And you look around, they know where to be found. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Cold and heat. Read for me. And summer. Wait a minute. Summer. Uh-huh. And winter. We're in the winter season. Ain't that right? Amen. Coming out of it, but we're in the winter. See, when it's February, March, after March, we're going to be about out of it because it's so close. East just turning the corner. Amen. Hello, we here. Amen. Praise be to God. You need to wake up. You don't know what time it is. Mm. You don't know what time it is. Praise be to God. They said, the Lord delay his coming. No, he no, no, no. The day has already been set. Yes, it has. And the hour that he's going to crack that sky. Yes, it is. Oh, my God, my God. Yes. Aren't you glad that you know you know if he cracks it right now, you are ready. But he said the end shall not be then, but until the gospel is first preached all over the universe, that every, everyone has heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, then the end yes. shall come. That's right. You know why everybody got to hear it? Because when he comes, amen. And amen. There's not going to be one person with an excuse that they did not hear, they did not know. That's right. So much so, if we look at the word of God, amen, and think about it, when Jesus came, those who had fell asleep already, yes. that was believing, had hope, they had to hear the gospel. Amen. <laughs> they were down there bound in hell. Yes. By the powers of Satan. Uh huh. So when he died, I always said, he didn't stay in that room. No three days and no three nights. I know they said he did. No, he didn't. But you read the word that he stormed the gates of hell. Oh, that's right. Good God Almighty. Set the captive, Set the captive free. Yeah. Hey, Shamaha. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, 
God Almighty. They had to hear the gospel. Yes. Hey, my son, if you don't think there's going to be a resurrection, and the Bible said he was the first that was resurrected from the dead. Yes. And he brought those saints up with him. Yes. Shatala. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me fast forward here. And when he stepped on the cloud to go back to glory, my God, they say a couple of brothers was looking at him. Yes. And the angel stepped in the midst and said, Why well, stand ye here, men? Gazing up to the yonder's heaven. Yes. That same Jesus. Yes. Good God Almighty. Not another, the same Jesus yes. whom you see taken up now. Yes. He is coming back again yes. in the same like manner. Yes. I got, I got an assurance. He's Ooh. coming back Thank again. Jesus. He ain't coming back for people that are getting ready. Yes. He's coming back for ready people. Yes. Hello in here. Why spell one? Because heaven is a prepared place. For prepared people. Yes. And this is where you prepare yourself yes. to meet your maker. Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. Hey, Thank you. And I give God glory this morning. Thank you, Lord. I give God glory this morning. Thank you, God, glory this morning. Thank you Jesus. Hot and cold. Mm. Winter. Mm-hmm. And day and night. Right now. Day. Do you know what time it is? The word of God said the day is well spent and night is approaching. Yes. Good God Almighty. And day, uh huh. And night, and night shall not cease. Shall not cease as long as the earth remains. These things shall not cease. Uh -huh. huh? Thank you, Lord. See, time. And harvest. Yes. He gives seed to the sower. To the sower. Yes. His word mm -hmm. is a seed. Yes, it is. His word <coughs> has been sown in my heart. David said, The word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Let's go over. Amen. Let's go over to Malachi 3. Start at the seventh verse. Nice and slow and easy. I want to talk a little bit this morning. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Read on. Malachi chapter 3, verse 7. Even from the days of your fathers. Going back. What are you talking about now? So even from the days of your fathers. I thought about my daddy. I know he. He would give a dollar. Mm hmm. He would give that dollar. And someone would give 50 cents. Mm hmm. Y'all, anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes. Mm hmm. Huh? Yes. That's what they did. He said, even from the days of your father. Uh huh. You are gone away from my audience. You left me. You're gone away from what I told you to do. Your fathers did. Ha ha read. And have not kept them. You've gone away from my orders and have not kept them. Uh huh. Return unto me. Watch out, watch out. Here's a promise not from Spellman or anybody here. Here's a promise from God. He said, return unto me. Uh-huh. And I will return unto you. And I will return unto you. This is a promise from God. Uh-huh. Read. Don't listen. Let me say this. Don't worry about Don't worry about I'm still waiting. He know you're still waiting. He know the promise he made. Don't worry about what ain't happened yet. Stick with his word. Because everything is going down but his word. But his word. Amen. If you need it uh, 10 years ago, whatever it was, you need, he knows how to reach way back. Yes. And bring up what you should have gotten and needed 10 years ago. Don't worry about what you're still doing. Keep on going. Uh-huh. Return unto me, 
says the Lord of hosts. Said the Lord of hosts. Now you know the word of God said God has made them both Lord and Savior. Ain't that what he said? Amen. <laughs> said the Lord of hosts. And what? But you said. But you say. Wherein shall we return? How shall I return? What, what, what are you talking about here? Wherein shall I return? Uh-huh. Read. Will a man rob God? I got a question. Will a man rob God? Uh-huh. Yet you have robbed me. Oh, God. He said, yes, you robbed me. Mm-hmm. But you say. You asked a question. Wherein have we robbed thee? Why did I rob you? Huh? Praise God. Go ahead. In tithes and offerings. Tithes and offerings. Uh huh. You are cursed with a curse. Now, whom God cursed. No, that, that, that's why you're working two, two, three jobs trying to make ends meet. Because what you have is not blessed, huh. it's cursed. According to the word of God. Now, don't, don't say that's what. I, I was flipping through, uh, uh, what are we on? What are we on? Facebook. Facebook, and I saw Spellman up there talking about I'm cursed. No, no, I didn't say that. Tell them when you read it again. Malachi chapter 3. You go to Malachi chapter 3, it's up at the seventh, seventh verse, and don't say I said it, say I repeated what was written. Mm hmm. Say, you are cursed. With a curse. That sounds like a double curse on you. And whom God cursed? No man can reverse. No man can bless. That's right. Praise God. Read for me. For you have robbed me. You have robbed me. Mm -hmm. Even this whole nation. The whole nation. Read. Bring. Bringing ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Now let's go back a few, a few, a few decades. Let's go back in the beginning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Abraham, I got it right. Yes. Paid tithe to Melchizedek. Yes, he did. Praise God. He gave him a tenth. Yes, he did. Yes, sir. Praise God. So don't nobody fool you and tell you. Tithing belongs in the Old Testament. No, it's not. No, it's not. Praise be to God. It's, it remains today. Yes, it does. And this is what's happening to your finance. That's why, amen, you have a problem can't keep up with it. I praise God. And that's why you're working so hard to try to make ends meet. Amen. It seems like the more you make, the more you need. Let me let me let, let me go to go go over that real quick for my daughter. Uh uh, and all these ventures come on me and overtake you back. I think it's found in Deuteronomy. Praise be to God. Bless in the store and bless so folks and so forth and so on. Praise God. So now, your money just ain't long enough. <laughs> That's what it about ought to be. You're, you're running out. But see, God in your life, you'll stop looking at not enough and you'll look at more than enough. So, 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 so while, while she's going there, uh, when you get that, put on mark or something there, because I want to go to something else too. I want you to go to the 5,000 that you fed. Don't me Praise God. Now, now let me say this. Let, let me finish up with Malachi. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me finish up with Malachi. Go ahead. So he said, return unto me, and I will return to you, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. now, 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 I tell people, that he dies you. He put a, he put, amen, he, he challenged you. Let me put it that way. Read for me, daughter. That there may be meat in my house. Go on, go on, go on, get this on. Mm -hmm. And prove me now. Wait a minute. Good God Almighty. That's what I mean. He said that you've been talking about ain't no God, right? And people just saying that. He said, he said, come on, try me and prove me. Wait a minute. Prove me now. That's a challenge, isn't it? Yes, it is. He said, prove me now. Read, daughter. 
Herewith, Yahweh meant, says the Lord of hosts. He said, Yahweh, yeah, I said, the Lord of hosts. What else he said? If I will not. See, won't I? See, won't I? What he's, what he's going to do. Open you. the Open unto you. The windows. The windows. Of heaven. Of heaven. Now, wait a minute. Now, I'm going to look at something here. He says, see, won't I open unto you the wonders of heaven? Sound like to me, the wonder must be shut if he's got to open it. Huh? So if the window is shut, you're praying under a closed heaven. Amen. Heaven, God. Yeah, he said, if I shut up heaven, that what he can't say, didn't he? Yes. That there be no rain. So, yes. So if he's going to open the window, the window must be closed. Yes. Heaven has windows, doors, and gates. Yes. yes. Lift up your head over your gates and bring up your glass and doors in the king of glory. So there's gates, windows, and doors. Yes. Huh? He says, see, won't I? He's daring you. He's challenging you. Open the windows of heaven. We don't know. And pour you out. Pour you out. A blessing. A blessing. That there shall not be room enough to receive it. That there shall not be room enough to receive it. Now somebody's saying, I've been doing them, I've been doing them, and I ain't had a pour out yet. Praise be to God. I want to say something to you. You've been doing it, but you ain't been believing for the pour out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Why? Why get in a car with some keys and I can't drive? I'm not going nowhere, am I? Nope. But if I know I got them keys and I can drive, I'm gonna be moving forward. Yes. When you sow your seed, when you do your tithe, you gotta believe the word. What he said he will do, and it's so much so he said, "Now put me in remembrance." Yes. Well, read a little more because I want you to see what's happening here. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. I will keep the devil off your stuff. And off he, your children, off your car. I will keep him out. I will rebuke the devourer. That's the enemy. For your sake. I, I give your scripture. Now go over to Job. Don't go back. Y'all stay with me. Go over to Job and see what happened. Could he just jump in there and, and do Job damage? No, no, no. no. Yeah. No, no, no. He said, who wouldn't serve you? Look how you blessed him. He said, but move the hedge. Mm -mm -mm -mm. God Almighty said, get the hedge up from around his stuff yes. so I can get to it. Good God Almighty. And the Lord said, all right, I'll move the hedge. And and because he 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 is a devout man. He's not gonna he's not gonna curse me. Hello in here. He wasn't rich. He's rich. Yeah, I made him rich, yeah. Praise be to God. It is the Lord that gives thee power. Deuteronomy 8. It is the Lord that gives thee power to get wealth. Yes. Praise be to God. Not for you, amen, just to have it in, in a bank or a uh, yacht and three or four uh, cars or cars for every day of the week and some books and so on. Amen. But he said, it is the Lord God that gives you power to get wealth. Praise be to God. Amen. Uh, that he may, that so his covenant may be fulfilled. The one he made with your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. Until all families of the earth is blessed. Yes. He wants everybody to bless. Praise be to God. So he said, I will, I will rebuke the divine for your sake. Yes. Uh huh. Praise God. And it, it's amazing. It's amazing because when you belong to God, He tells the devil just how much He can do. Uh huh. And if you read that, that Job, you'll find out when He wanted to touch Job's body. He said, All right, go ahead, touch his body. But Come out his soul again. Get your orders. Don't do it. <clears throat> Praise God. All right. What else? I, I asked for something else. What was the next thing I asked for? Deuteronomy 28. Who? Deuteronomy 28. Use your mic. You got a mic over there? What did I ask for? The blessings. Let me hear you. So it's a crime? Deuteronomy 28. Re re yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, because and, and this is this, this is what all the saints should be saying. And all these blessings will come on you and overtake you. You yes. see that? Very that you're hearkening to the voice of the Lord that God. Two. That's why I want you to start. Right along there, so we can redeem the time. Here's a promise from God. And all these blessings. And all these blessings mm -hmm. shall come unto thee mm -hmm. and take over thee. Overtake thee, uh-huh. And if thou shalt hearken. And if you listen. Unto the voice of the Lord. Yeah, I must I gotta do this whole put your finger that baby so you won't have me looking for. Put your finger that. Name knows that where to start. Listen. He said, if you will listen, and my mama used to say, come here, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't listen. <laughs> 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 Hard head. He said, if you listen, praise God. Read, read, read some scripture. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord. If you listen to me, uh -huh. my God. Read. Blessing shall uh, blessing shall thou be in the city. He said, bless, bless all these blessings shall come over me and overtake thee. Blessed shall ye be in the city. Blessed Read. shall thou be in the field. If you're a farmer, blessed shall you be in the field. Read. Blessed shall you be the fruits of thy body. Talking about your children, the fruits of your body. Uh huh. Blessed shall the fruits of thy ground. And everything you sow, blessed shall it be. The blessing of God can be on it. Read. The fruits of thy cattle. Uh huh. Read, read, on And the increase of thy kind. And everything gonna uh -huh. keep increasing. He got, he got increase on his mind. Uh, he don't he don't subtract. He don't, he don't know subtraction. He do adding. I know that's right. God, I'm, the Holy Ghost, <laughs> just, the Holy Ghost just said to me, "So tell him because out on the day of Pentecost, after they left, they, they were steadfast on moving in apostolic doctrine, and the Lord added to the church." Such as should be seen. Five thousand souls. Cook yes. out of mind. I'm telling you, he don't have no, he don't know my God. Subtraction. Yes. All he knows is adding. Hello, you. Yes. Somebody said, I'm going to start putting a plus sign there. Oh, Y'all yes. don't get me In this morning. Praise be to God. Yes. Plus. Read, daughter. <laughs> and the flocks of thy sheep. Now, come on, come on, Sister Christ. Okay, sir. <laughs> and the blush help there be in the basket and thy store. Wait, that's the one you want. And bless shall your basket be in the store. Yes. Now, here, here what the saints are doing. I don't want to go to the store because everything in there is so high. That ain't what he told you to say. That's right. You want them to teach you how to shop? That's how you shop. You walk in the store and bless, I should be my basket in the store. Yes. You're going to be a smart shopper. <laughs> Praise God. Find Sister Carl. Go over there, uh, Sister Carl. I, I knew what it was. It's gone away from me again. There's another one more scripture. What was it? All right. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. It's got to come back to me. Because it'll close me out. I'll close out with this. Okay? We did Malachi. We did Genesis. And we did, amen, Deuteronomy. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Well, it was one more. What was it, Sister Skinner? There was one more scripture. Amen. One, two, to three. All right. Well, we Lord, want me just to keep that. Oh, I know what it was. I told you to go to where he fed the 5,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you for the Holy Ghost, man. See, you may get up in age, but the Holy Ghost ain't got no age. I, I, I said, it ain't got no age. Yes. Because it's God, and he, he, he don't get old. No, he he don't. said, he don't change. Because if he changed, he'd be what? He'd be an old God by the day. Mm -hmm. Over that, over that praise be to God. When he fed the thigh, that's probably Mark or Mark or Matthew. Uh huh. Mark, uh, he, he fed. And I was saying, just stop saying, he don't, he don't see no shortage. No, he don't. You see? Now, I'm going to show you here what I'm talking about out there. And, and when you keep looking at shortage, you're looking at he's not sufficient. But he's more than sufficient. He's more than enough. Yes. Now they had this amen, great multitude following him. I think the word of God said they have been with him quite a few days, three days or however. And the disciples said to him, so listen, so you need to send them away because they ain't had nothing to eat. <laughs> He said, you, you need to send them, send them away and let them go get something.
to the nearest town or wherever and go get something to eat because they've been a long time with us. Uh-huh. And, 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 and Jesus said, if I send them away, some of them ain't going to make it because they, they're going to they're faint along the way because y'all those ain't found it yet. I, I, I found it. Huh? Talk to me. You want the one in Mark or Matthew's? I want you to go right to the verse and tell the verse I want. Where he, where he said, where the disciple said, send them away to go get food to the nearest village or wherever. And Jesus answered and said, they've been with us for so long that they won't make it. Some of them are afraid along the way. Because, you know, they were getting weak. They hadn't eaten and drinking, whatever the case may be. Uh-huh. Did you see that there? I know it's there. Praise be to God. So he said to the disciples, feed them. <laughs> Good God, my son. Did y'all hear what I said? Feed them. He said, feed them. And they said to him, this multitude, all these people, we don't have enough. There's only one lad here. Huh? He's got a, uh, two fish and five little mealy loaves. That's nothing for this multitude. What were they looking at? How much they had. But they weren't looking at what God has. He has it all. So he said to them, have all the men Help to sit down. There was 5,000 men. Yes. Huh? Yes. You there? I have Luke. Mm -hmm. This is it. Let me hear it. Luke chapter 9. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start at the um, 13th verse. Read. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. Uh -huh. Feed them. And they said, We have no more. Then five loaves and two fishes. Hold that. Put your finger there so you know where to start right there. They looked at what they had. How many times have you had some bills you had to pay and you looked at what you had and know you didn't have enough? All right. I'll put my two hands. So they said, we ain't got nothing, not for this crowd. Read for me. Mm -hmm. Except we should go and buy meat for all these people. Mm -hmm. For they were about 5,000 men. He said nothing about the ladies and the children. About 5,000 men. And he said unto the disciples, make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did, and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them and break and gave to the disciples set before the multitude. And they did eat and were all filled and there were taken up fragments that remained to them 12 baskets. And it came to pass that he was alone praying. His disciples were with him. And he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? All right, that's enough. Stop right there. The disciples looked at not enough. But when you got Jesus in your belly, you ought to make you know, I got it all. So the only thing I got to know what to do is how to tap into my results. Are you listening to me? Amen. Now, that's, that's, that's beautiful, but one of the other writers when they told, Je they told Jesus to send them away, he told them, he said, they won't make it. And you know when you fast and pray, on the third day, your strength start coming back to the scrum. If you can make it through three days, you, you home free. But that second day gets worried, especially if you not on a consecration, but you're on a fast. That means nothing is going through your throat. No water, nothing. Praise God. So two days, the second day gets a little, a little tough. But the time you hit that third day, the going gets real, real rough. But you can make it through the third day 
Your strength start coming. God Almighty. Your strength start coming back. You start feeling strong. Uh huh. You won't be weak. But what I always said to the saints, and I said to you out there, if you want to fast, you need to, before you start on the fast, you ask, need to ask the Lord to condition my mind mm. that I may be able to go through. Because if not, the enemy is going to come and challenge you. Yes. He's going to make you want to eat when you never thought about eating. Somebody said, we are talking about fasting. Mm -hmm. They don't fast no more. Hello, we here. But you do need to read the word of God because yeah. you got some this, you got something called this kind only goes out through and by fasting and praying. Amen. Hello, we here. Praise be to God. Amen. I thank God for my pastor. He said this to me more than one time. He said, son, if you don't pray, won't you won't pray. stay. He said, if you don't pass, you won't last. You can take it or leave it. Praise be to God. Comes a time you got to shut your old flesh down. Yes. Good God Almighty. Hello in here. Good God Almighty. Let the spiritual man get some food and praise God. Most of the saint spiritual man, he's got malnutrition. Good God Almighty. You can see his bones and his ribs. He done lost. I got to stop. Good God Almighty. Praise God. Praise God. He took those two fish. Yes. And those loaves. And he held them up. Praise God. Now, I've said to you here for Bell and Rock, so I'm going to drop it on out there to those that may do this. We're going to have a few years anyway, so let's get one you get. Now, I'm going I'm I'm to show you something. We talk about information and revelation. Yes. There's revelation out there for past information. Because he held those two fish, and that five rose up, and he blessed it. But the words that he used are not recorded. Yes, that's right. Go read it. It's not recorded. Yes. Let me help you. Let me help you. But it said, all the books that was written, everything Jesus said, all the books in the world would be enough books to write down everything he said. Yes. Then it said, but not one word did he speak fell to the ground. Yes. Could God Almighty. The where are they at? They're in the spiritual yes. realm. And to get them, you got to get in the spiritual realm. That's called revelation, Thank you, not information. God bless you. Take us off.